Hello friends, in this video, we will learn the working of a NOT gate using MOS transistor or MOSFET. Then we will implement it on breadboard. Here is the circuit diagram of a NOT gate using MOSFET. So here is a here is an N channel MOSFET. This side is drain, this is gate, and this terminal is source. We know that when there is no gate voltage, then a MOSFET will not allow to flow current from drain to source. That means from here to here. It will not allow. That's why if there is no gate voltage, then this MOSFET will act as an open switch. In this circuit, we have used a 9 volt battery here. So if there is zero voltage at terminal A, here is the A terminal A. If there is zero voltage, that means there is no gate voltage. So the MOSFET will not allow to flow current through this from drain to source. So there will be no current. So the entire current will flow through this loop. Here will be ground. So the entire current will flow through this loop and we will get output at the output terminal. Now if we will one if we if we will apply voltage at terminal A that means A is one then the MOSFET will allow to flow current from his, its drain to source that means the current will flow through this. So the entire current in this case will flow through this part because there is resistance in the loop that's why the current will only flow through the part where there is low resistance so the entire current will flow through this and there will be no current through this loop and the output will be zero that's why we will get zero at the output now we'll implement it in the breadboard to make this project we need an n channel mosfet here we are using irf 540n and we need a 1k resistor and 100 ohm resistor and to observe the output we need an led here we are using a 5 mm led and to protect this led we need a 1k resistor also and some connecting wires and a battery of 9 volt and a breadboard first we will insert this mosfet into the breadboard when we keep this mosfet like this then this left terminal this leftmost terminal is gate the middle one is drain and the rightmost terminal is source terminal let us insert this mosfet here now from the gate terminal we have to connect a 100 ohm resistor so we will connect 100 ohm resistor from the gate terminal from any point of this column we'll connect it and we will insert the other terminal to any point of breadboard so this terminal will act as terminal a then from the drain terminal we have to connect a resistor of 1k to our positive terminal of the battery so we will connect this middle one is drained so we will connect from this point we will connect from this point to this point we will use this row as vcc row we will connect the positive terminal of our battery to this row from here to here then we have to make this source terminal to ground We have to connect this source terminal that is last one to ground we will connect it to this row this first first row we will use the this row as our ground row we will connect the negative terminal of our battery to this row so now from the drain terminal again we have to take out the output so we will first use this 1k resistor and from the middle terminal that is drain and we will connect other terminal to any point of breadboard so we will connect it here 
then from that point we have to connect this positive terminal of our led the longer one and negative terminal should be grounded that means to our ground row to any point of this row okay now our circuit is ready we have to connect this positive terminal of our battery to our vcc row that we have considered and the negative terminal of our battery to our ground row okay our circuit is now ready now we will observe the output now from the proof table we can see when a is one one means we have to connect this terminal a to vcc row we have to connect it and to vcc means this row so we can see the output is zero that's why the led is now off now when we apply zero at terminal a zero means we have to make it ground so it should be connected to our ground row so when a is zero you can see the output is one that's why the led is on so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also buy electronics components projects sensors modules from our official website www.dpbtechnology.com thank you